Hello, coolers. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing the latest on FC Barcelona as usual. We are going to begin with Ansu Fati. Reports are saying that Ansu Fati is doing all his best to make sure he is available for Bayern Munich vs Barcelona because he even came to the club's training ground on a resting day when nobody was supposed to be on training and Sofati was making an effort and even went to do training himself and of course that have made FC Barcelona moderately optimistic that Sofati might be fit against Bayern in that crucial Champions League encounter next week. Then secondly, we are going to be talking about this report claiming that Barcelona now prefer Ferran Torres to Dani Olmo you know but they can see afford either right because you know we've been talking about Ferran Torres a lot lately and Barca are reportedly prioritizing him over Danny Omo we are going to be discussing on that report as well so guys as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end Barca! Barcelona's biggest game of the season so far will take place away at Bayern Munich in the Champions League on December 8th and it is a match that you know Ansu Fati is determined to be available for. Very very important, he needs to be there hopefully. Fati is currently out with a left thigh injury but he came to the club's training ground on Tuesday in order to do some more rehabilitation work. Even though Xavi Hernandez was not expecting him. You know back until Wednesday after giving the squad two days off. And Sufati felt some um, discomfort in our 3-3 draw against Celta Vigo last month, right? And went off uh, at halftime with the score at three goals to nil in Barca's favor and by no means a guarantee that he will play against Bayern. Barcelona are determined not to take any risk whatsoever with Ansofati and next week a decision will be made. You know between the player the medical team and the club regarding whether he will face Bayern or not and so Fati has been cleared that he's willing to do everything in his power to be available for this match and that is why he wants to be in Barcelona's training you know even on the resting day he came that shows you the motivation that shows you the zeal that our player and so Fati wants to be there as did Clement Langley and Martin Bradway also who are injured, maybe they will not play. Due to his injury problems, Ansu Fati has played in just 8 games and featured in a total of 367 minutes of football so far this season, yet he has still managed to score 4 goals and provide 1 assist. Very clinical key. However, report from the Spanish outlet Dario Sport is claiming that Xavi will only use Ansu Fati if he is 100% and will not take any risk with him. You know, we quite remember Xavi spoke about Ansu Fati's fitness in his presser before the Villarreal match. He said he is doing very well. You know, he, he has very good feelings. He has started to run, but we have to be careful. Then we will see if we can take a risk or not. The other day we did with um, Usman Dembele, he did not score but he has close, you know, but that is appreciated. Ansu is a very important player and we cannot risk losing him again, but it will depend on the player's feelings. So we the fans as well as FC Barcelona themselves will hope that, you know, Ansu Fati is available as a win is likely to be needed in Bayern. You know, in if Barca are to progress to the last 16, and so Fati has four goals in eight games. Of course, he's very clinical and he will make a big difference if he's to future in that game. Barcelona's longtime crush, Dani Omo, might not be an inevitability at the club after all. According to a report from Sport, Barcelona's pursuit of the Spaniard might be over now that they have found a new winger to target. The pursuit of Manchester City's Ferran Torres has put the brakes on any sort of Dani Omo negotiations. It's unclear if the arrival of Xavi in particular put the Omo pursuit off or if he changed his direction, you know, it's like purely financial move. Torres has had success at the ATR Stadium but as with most players at City, playing time isn't all that consistent, leaving the door open for a move to Barcelona. Given the injury history of any sort of attacking player at Barcelona, 
Torres should have a plethora of chances should he make the move. There have been plenty of rumors already that Torres is keen to swap Barca for City but finding a way to make the deal happen remains a problem. Barca reportedly don't want or can't even pay more than 40 million euros but City want more than 60 million and that would be very very difficult for FC Barcelona to pay when we consider our current financial predicaments but we just have to wait and see how things will unfold because as the report says Barca prefer you know Ferran Torres to Dani Omo but we just have to say but things can still change who knows things can still change because Ferran Torres the demands are very high from Man City to be honest but Dani Omo in Leipzig is not also an easy target Leipzig is also demanding such a high fee so Barca will really need to weigh up you know the options to see the better one <laughs> So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode, thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe, if you haven't please make sure to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona, here on Viva Barca, until next time, bye bye.